As you know, the most common reason we use echo in emergency medicine is to see if there is a pericardial fusion, to look for tamponade, to look for activity. But learning signs of right heart strain is really helpful in caring for patients with PE. Most of us spend more time looking at the left ventricle for squeeze and sometimes don't pay much attention to the right heart. The right ventricle should look like a triangle in most of the echo views and should be about one third the size of the LV. The right ventricular free wall should move in towards the septum and longitudinally towards the apex in good function. The main findings of right heart strain in PE are a thin walled dilated right ventricle that looks more rounded than triangular. When the RV gets big, it can cause the septum to move into the left ventricle. If the right ventricular wall is thick, it's more likely to be that the enlarged right ventricle is from a chronic lung disease instead of something acute. You can also see decreased right ventricular function with right heart strain. You can see this RV enlargement in the parasternal short axis view too. When the RV is under pressure, it stretches and then pushes the LV to give you this D-shaped ventricle in the parasternal short. You can quantitatively measure RV function by the TAPSI, which is the tricuspid annual plane systolic excursion. It's measuring basically how much the tricuspid uh, valve annulus is moving as well as the right ventricular free wall. In the apical four chamber view, put the M mode gate down through where the RV wall meets the tricuspid valve and you'll see the series of humps. This is the movement of the free wall in the valve. You measure how tall this is and it's the TAPSI. You want it to be more than 17. Tapsies less than 17 correlate with poor RV function, like this echo shows. Okay, so next time you see a patient with a PE, take a closer look at the right heart and look for strain.